Okay, look, I know that this mower is not the most popular thing I've ever done, okay? I get that. And I understand that some of you are here, you're wanting other stuff. And I promise eventually I will get to it. But this is what I have to film right now. I'm trying to get some videos together. I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel for video ideas right now because... I need to put some stuff out on the channel, but I don't have time to do some of the bigger projects that I want. So we're going to talk about this grazer here for a minute. Now I did a review on this. If you missed it, I will link it down below. You can go watch it if you want. If you don't, that's fine. But in that video, that review, I mentioned that there were some electrical issues I was having with this. And I think I got them straightened out. Now, the moral of this story, before we even start, is check your grounds. Okay, check all of your grounds because I was checking these grounds right here. Okay, but there's this ground right here too. You can probably see that the sun's glaring on the on the camera, so I can't see what you're seeing necessarily. But you can see that that thing was so loose, I am amazed it was getting connection at all. And I tightened it up and I charged the battery back up because the battery had died. And it seems to work fine. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start it now, but uh it should I mean it's been firing right up. We've used it quite a bit since I got it uh, all fixed. So that ground wire being loose was causing several problems. Okay. The biggest thing it was causing was the power from the starter to backfeed through the throttle and choke cables because it was grounding through them and then it got hot and I didn't like that and it was melting the throttle and choke cables. Now the throttle cable, I actually melted so much it finally gave up. So I robbed the throttle cable off of the 2090 V which is sitting majestically over there past those barrels. We'll get to it one of these days. But I took the throttle cable off of it and, and made it work. So it's not 100% correct, but I'm having trouble finding correct throttle cables for this engine. Uh, so right now this is this is low, low speed. You don't go all the way down to the bottom of the slot they cut because I don't have it set that way. But you can throttle it up all the way, which has made an improvement in how fast the engine runs. Not to a dangerous level or anything, it just it runs at a higher speed and uh, it moves faster and it cuts better. So I'm not 100% how long it's been running like that because I didn't notice it really. Um, for all I know, it never ran at that speed since I've got it going. But it does now, so, you know, that's awesome. But back to the point, I, I digress, I'm sorry. It was melting the, the engine control cables. And then later on, like this season, I noticed uh, it wasn't, the hour meter wasn't working and... I noticed, and, and I kind of dismissed it, I noticed that when I had the clutch engaged with the engine running, it was drawing more amps than it usually did compared to last season. So eventually all this stuff got so bad that it just wouldn't start one day, and I could not finagle it around to get it to start. That's when I discovered the loose ground wire. Uh, I tightened it up, I messed with it for a little bit, it still wasn't working, so I swapped ignition switches... And then I decided, you know what, let's just charge the battery and start again because I was looking at replacing the starter, even though it doesn't have 50 hours on it, if even that. And so I charged the battery up and with good grounds and I, I you know, spruced up some of the wiring behind the control panel and it just it fired right up. No problem. No hesitation. Uh, and it's been doing it ever since. And it's been started several times since then. So I'm going to say I got the electrical straightened out. All because of a ground wire that I probably should have been looking at. And there that's I mean that's pretty much it. Actually, I was gonna say something else, but that's really it. The bad ground causing the cables to melt, and so then it wouldn't, you know, it wasn't charging right, and then the hour meter wasn't working, and there's Power Stroke Panther, and so now the mower starts and it works good. And I also deleted the uh hinge stop because having to open and close this 8,000 times trying to get it to start was really, really annoying. Wasn't it? Yes, it was. What do you think, cat? Yeah. He's a good cat. So that is the story of the Grazer Electrical Problems, and I believe I finally fixed them. 
So I hope you guys found that interesting. I know this isn't the most exciting video. I'm working on more exciting videos, I promise, okay? And this will be a shorter one. So New Year's resolution, try and make shorter videos. Right, Panther? So you got that. I will, uh, I will get off here before I keep repeating myself. And I'll be back with something more exciting later. So you guys just uh, stay tuned for that. And we'll catch you later. Take care.